Well, students at Highland Park High School, they are heading back to class today. The way they will get in school will be different. Yeah, the school will be using a new weapons detection system. NBC 5's Lisa Chavaria joins us live from Highland Park. And Lisa, we're told that parents still have some concerns about this. That's right, guys. We're hearing from a number of them, especially from a particular group that says that they want to see these detectors at all of the entrances. For now, these things will only be at certain entrances, and the superintendent tells us that they will be moved at times unannounced. So this will be something very different for students as they head back to class here at Highland Park High School a little bit later this morning. Many of them are going to be greeted by this weapon detection system. They will still have to show their ID as they normally do, but they will be asked to remove their laptops from their backpacks to get through this system a bit more smoothly. The district also says there will be tighter security Security after a 16 year old Highland Park High School student was gunned down not far from the school on Sunday. A parent group called SOS, which stands for Securing Our Schools, told the board last night at a meeting they would like to see these detectors at every entrance. Here's how the superintendent responded. Very bad impact on climate, we don't know, and it would make it difficult for students to get uh, to school in time. In, in short, we'd be creating chaos. That's the district's concern with doing something like that. The superintendent also tells us that these detection systems are expected to go up at Deerfield High School very soon. The district, again, is reminding parents and students that you can expect to see heavier police presence as your students head back to school here at Highland Park High School. Reporting live from Highland Park, Lisa Chavaria, NBC5 News.